Really? A genie comes out of it? Only if you rub it hard enough. <laughs> I'm the bass player for Cheap Trick. <laughs> whoa, 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 don't drink that. I saw some guy slip something in there. What? Who? Um, that guy. To perform the He's Not Coming, here's what you'll need. The observation deck of the Empire State Building. Are you up there? Good. For generations, this has been the spot New Yorkers have chosen for their romantic reunions with long estranged lovers. So all you have to do is walk up to every girl you see and say, He's not coming. What are you talking about? Never mind. <laughs> He's not coming. He's not coming. She's not coming? Sorry. Until sooner or later, he's not coming. He's not. But we agreed. We always said we'd meet here on this night. I'm such a fool. Shh, shh. To perform the Lorenzo von Matterhorn, here's what you'll need. Basic knowledge of website design and a very unique fake name. So, think of your fake name right now. Have you got it? Good. Now, select your target. Preferably a girl with a real nice phone. <sighs> yeah, it's me. Do I know you? I'm Lorenzo von Matterhorn. Are you, like, famous or something? Yes. <laughs> you really don't know who I am, do you? What a refreshing change of pace. Nice to meet you. Shelly. Shelly. Once again, I'm Lorenzo von Matterhorn. Spelled like it sounds. Two T's. Lorenzo. Von Matterhorn. Ciao. Then, as soon as you're gone, she gets out her phone and does an internet search for Lorenzo von Matterhorn. And that's when she discovers a series of fake websites all devoted to the incredible life of Lorenzo von Matterhorn. There's the fake business article about Lorenzo, the reclusive billionaire, the fake Explorers Club newsletter describing his balloon trek to the North Pole as a feat of pure daring and imagination, the fake medical journal featuring the heartbreaking story of doctors telling him penis reduction surgery isn't an option. And by the time you get back, Hi, Shelly, uh, I hate to be forward, but can I buy you a cup of coffee? Yes, please. <laughs> what does coffee go for these days, $50? Oh, Lorenzo. And it is on. Now, Kappas, after our disciplinary hearing for lewd behavior last semester, we have been assigned a new house mom. I'd like you to meet Mrs. Stinsfire. Hello, girls! <laughs> Step one, tell a meddlesome female friend about the playbook. Step two, run a play on one of her coworkers making her so angry she steals the playbook. Step three, put on the scuba suit and tell her you're going to do one more scam called the scuba diver on the hot girl standing by the bar. Your friend, let's call her Lily, goes and talks to the girl and tells her everything about the playbook. Now, here's where it gets tricky. When Lily and the girl ask what the scuba diver is, take off your mask, give them some spiel about your deep-seated insecurities, which don't really exist because, let's face it, you're awesome. Feeling bad for you, Lily talks you up to the girl who then agrees to go get coffee with you. And it is on. Wow, you're an astronaut? Shh. I'm actually in a top secret government space program called Secret NASA, or SNASA. Wow, SNASA. Mm -hmm. Do you go to the moon and stuff? Well, not the moon you're familiar with, though I have been to the smoon. The smoon. <laughs> I got left at the altar. Can I help you? I'm sorry to be the one to tell you this, but my wife is having an affair with your husband. I even found a list of every dirty way they've enjoyed each other's bodies. 
I wish there was some way we could get back at them. There is. We can kill them. <laughs> I'm sorry to be the one to tell you this.